Remember how, like, an hour ago, I was like, why is my GPU so high? I think it just crashed with my computer. So I've lowered some settings. <laughs> and that's maybe something to look into. Add that to my long list of things my computer shouldn't be doing but are. Okay, where were we? Um, I really want to know what happens if I ask for help. Because I'm curious, and I love Zhao Cho, but I also would love for bad things to happen to him. Because that's how I like characters, so let's cause some problems. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is currently closed. All the officers and officials have been reassigned to assist in the war dance. You can see you can sense someone staring at you from not far away. All right, I'm going to ask him for help. I need your help. If I can help you. <laughs> Orison are hiding nearby. No, let's do I'm Jiaocho, envoy of the Shenzhou Yaoqing. <laughs> Hi, do you need my help, messenger from the Xianzhou Yaoqing? Orison are hiding in the Exalting Sanctum. You must deliver this news to the Cloud Knights. Uh, Borison? Here? Are you serious? Nothing bad is going to happen now. These Borison are disguised as Foxians. Please warn the Cloud Knights immediately. Will you please wait here for a while? I'll find a soldier. Well. <laughs> Wait, this guy's kind of cute. Have I talked to him before? <laughs> Hello, might be nobody. Can I call you nobody? Unless you have a different preferred name. Oh, that dude's gonna get killed. I just killed that guy, didn't I? Well. Stop asking. I'm off duty now. Go bother someone else. What? Excuse me. You sniff a familiar scent on the Foxian pilot. May I ask why? Can't you just stop asking? Okay, geez. You're not one of us, but I smell a familiar scent on you. The warhead sent me here to check on the situation. The Warhead wants to know if we can leave now. Not yet. There's no way for this tiny ship to escape from the Sienjo. Only the starships at Stargazer Navalia can break through the Jade Gate. Mokdok said there would be insiders to pick us up, but I haven't heard anything yet. The ports haven't been closed? What is going on? Stalling won't help. It's time to confront Hule and see what tricks he's up to. Is that guy back yet? No. Okay. I love this little, like, <laughs> this is like where the evil people convene. <laughs> Why are, why are there why are we still allowing people to hang out here? You're back, Jiao Cho. Yeah. Come and take a good look. Ow. Oh. Who is this? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> uh, this cloud knight will help you. No. What are you trying to do, Mock Talk? What are you trying to do, Mock Talk? They have nothing to do with this. Nothing to do? I told you to go to the port and check out the situation. 
But I never gave you permission to talk with others. Oh. Remember, this person died because of you. Yo! Oof! The sickening crack of bones echoed through the small courtyard. There was no scream. Not even the sound of a struggle. You want to prove to me that <laughs> you hold everyone's lives in your hands. Ooh, that was right, good. Right, Goulet? <laughs> oh, exactly as you said. So, have the Cloud Knights closed the ports? I mean, if all the evil is in one place, it's easy to find, right? <laughs> I guess. Why haven't they found this one yet? No. Mm. They don't want to publicize my escape. I understand. It's no surprise. For fear is more deadly than claws and fangs. Especially during a festive time like the war dance. <laughs> they have Lucky really Ruxier good costumes on. Yeah. But rather, a pack of wolves amidst the flock. My cubs are hungry, ready to feast on flesh and blood, reveling in your fear. Your calm facade will soon crumble. I can tear through it and expose your pathetic bones any time. There's no escape from me, Chow Cho. This is so good. Of course. You can try your luck and believe that your wits will save you. But remember, you're not the only hostage in this city. If you try anything funny, innocent people will die because of you. Now, let's talk about the Foxy in general you serve. Mock Talk says she's here for me, which means she'll be hunting me herself. Before the hunt begins, I need to know my opponent. You can refuse and play tough. Or you can cooperate and save us both some time, healer. Ooh. Ah! I don't know what vibes I want to go for. Are we are we going the like obedient route or are we going the Oh man. Both are good. In, 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 in situations like this, I'm a fan of both. Let's, let's refuse for now. Refuse letting him know you won't talk. Oh, the tall man stretches out a finger and touches your shoulder blade. It's as if a dagger has cut away a piece of flesh and the pain pierces down to the bone. Hold on, let me read the full thing. The tall man stretches out a finger and touches your shoulder blade with a movement so fast it's not visible. It's as if a dagger has cut away a piece of flesh and the pain pierces down to the bone. You can barely stand. Good. At least you didn't try to draw attention with a scream. That way no one will die in vain. But remember... The next time you refuse me, I'll crush your healing hands, then your knees, then your spine. I'll dismantle you piece by piece until only your silver tongue remains for you to speak. And then what? <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know about her. But I expect something in return. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you're still in a position to negotiate with me? You can torture me until I talk. Or... Let's save us both some time. Warhead. <laughs> Here's the question. It's been bothering me. How have you managed to survive and endure centuries of torture? 
Boris and aren't supposed to live that long. Or possess such regenerative abilities. So, is that why the Xianzhou Yao Qing wanted to take me away? <laughs> oh, to some, I'm a hostage. But to others, I hold the secrets they desire. I'll personally get revenge for Zhao Cho if this keeps up. <laughs> I still remember. In the early years... <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> the Foxians came and went. They extracted my blood and marrow, trying to unravel the mystery of Moon Rage. They wanted to conquer their fear of the Burison and free themselves from their bloodline. Unfortunately, they failed to uncover the secret. So, they resorted to the most brutal punishments they could imagine. Hmm. Some seek power to destroy their enemies, while others seek power to become their enemies. Which one are you, Jiao Cho? Ah, I see. You're the most pitiful of them all, healer of the Yao Qing. You seek power to share it with others and do good. Well, then let me tell you the answer you seek. In our ancient legends, Duran, the ancestor of the Burisen, was dissatisfied with his limited lifespan and power. He yearned to dominate the skies and become the master of all the stars. To achieve his goal, he sacrificed the lives of countless Borisin and Foxians, pouring them into the spring bestowed by the Master of Immortality. Through a form of genetic sorcery, the water gave birth to a miracle. The Lunar Embryo. Duran ascended the birthing bed and obtained what he desired. A heart in the shape of a deep red full moon. He cut open his chest and replaced his original heart with this crimson moon. Uh... <laughs> How typical. Just another Boris and myth. Laugh all you want. But only I know the truth behind every word. Mm. This moon heart beats within the body of every generation of the Borisan Warhead. In the ritual that decides the new Warhead, the successor cuts open the previous Warhead's chest and consumes the Divine Heart, oh. thus possessing it as their own. Okay. Mm. Devouring is the true essence of life, allowing us to endure and thrive. It gathers the life essence of all the prey we consume, making us stronger and stronger. <laughs> yeah, that's how hearts I work, I'm pretty all sure. Hope was lost. We after learned that in seven school. Centuries of torment. But now. This heart is beating once again. <laughs> All right. Now it's your turn to tell me everything about the Merlin's Claw. Zhao Cho, <gasps> I found you. Your boy! Your boy is here for you! Two dual hours before the war dance convenes. Stargazer Navalia. I know I'm in no position to question your orders, but if I understand correctly, you already have intelligence about the Borison? That's right. My people are busy collecting clues now. What's the situation, Mwansa? General, before we completely lost contact with Zhao Cho... Oh, they got, like, walkie-talkies? Jade Abacus. It won't take long before we locate their whereabouts. 
If that's the case, shouldn't we immediately go there and join forces to eliminate the Borison? Why are we returning to Stargazer Nivalia? Looks like your general has only taught you swordplay, not the art of the hunt. There's an old saying among the Borison. In the forest, the hunter may easily become the hunted. While we may call ourselves the hunters now, chasing them blindly will only make us become the prey. How can Hule possibly hunt us down? Are you joking, General? He's just a wolf who's been in prison for seven centuries. Oh my god, do Even not this underestimate this dude. They're no match for us numerous lawful cloud knights. How could he consider us his prey? Do not underestimate the enemy. Hule is not an ordinary Borison that can be easily killed. The advantage in numbers means nothing when we face that monster. A vicious beast who hasn't tasted blood and flesh in seven centuries is now lurking on the streets of the Lafu right before the war dance. This is what makes the situation treacherous and unpredictable. <sighs> to him. The lives of ordinary people are just meat, ready to be devoured at any moment. Exactly. That is why we must succeed in our first strike, or the situation will spiral out of control. You've heard of this military tactic, right? When you surround your enemy, leave one side open for them to escape. A skilled hunter must be well prepared, waiting for the prey at the most advantageous position. Um, is Stargazer Navalia the most likely place for them to come to? What would we do if we were the escapees from the Shackling Prison? While we can disguise ourselves and blend in with the crowd, we don't plan on staying here for long. In this case, what do we need most now? A star skiff to get us out of the Lafu. The Borison we discovered at Stargazer Navalia were actually preparing a vessel for their escape. We predict their next move, and we take them down. Let's start from where you found those Borison and corner our prey. Arrive at Stargazer Navalia's shipyard and survey the area. Don't mind me. This is where we ran into the Borison last time. And it looks the same as usual. Because I blocked all the relevant news to make it seem as if nothing had happened. Will the Borison notice something? Losing contact with their accomplices preparing the star skiff will surely put them on guard. However, the more well-prepared a plan is, the longer it takes to adjust when it's disrupted. If any Borson wants to stick to the original plan despite the risks, they'll surely come back to Stargazer Novalia to check the situation. Are you suggesting that there are Borison here at Stargazer Novalia right now? This is an automated area. So don't you think that there are a bit too many people here today? First, Look at those two Skyfaring Commission staff members. They've been observing us in secret since we arrived here. Then there's a Cloud Knight soldier over there. Perhaps he's here for patrol, but each patrol team must consist of two members. And obviously, he is not following the rules. Lastly, there's that craftsman wearing Artisanship Commission clothing. He's unusually focused on checking that device. If you have a target in mind, let's go investigate. Question suspicious persons. <laughs> Mild-mannered staff. Who are you? Don't you know that Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? Who are we? Hey, chill out. 
They're just a few lost tourists. Who am I? Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? But Stargazer Navalia is the shipbuilding port of the Sienjo Lafu. If the Skyfaring Commission called for a lockdown, there should be official documents proving it, right? Official documents? <laughs> of course there are. The Cloud Knights are aware that some people have infiltrated this port. <sighs> that makes perfect sense. So you're now investigating the Borison? Yeah. We've received orders from the higher ups, so we <laughs> yeah. locked off this area to prevent any interference with our inspection. Thank you for your understanding. Hmm. Artisan Ship Commission Craftsman. Hey, you there! Please refrain from wandering around Stargazer Navalia if you're not. Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Yenching. Well, they know who I am. Aren't you wandering around here as well? I'm an official staff member assigned to investigate a peculiar issue. A peculiar issue? Yeah, we've had some unscheduled star skiffs being constructed at this dock in Stargazer Navalia. Could there have been an error in the production planning for the assembly line? This guy seems normal. This is just weird. I thought all the pending star skips from before the war dance had been scheduled already. I'm sorry, but I need to focus on my work right now. If you have any questions, we can discuss them later. Okay. Soldier on duty. Uh, oh, uh, Lieutenant Yen Xing and uh, General Fischel. All right, then he knows who I am. You're aware of the Boris in prison break, right? Yeah, I've received the news. And I'll be on the alert. <laughs> Looks like you've been keeping an eye on the sky splitter. Have you noticed anything unusual? No, everything is normal on the ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ah, uh, question his location. This is not a location for a cloud knight on guard duty, is it? Well, this spot offers a great view. Are you here to keep an eye on the sky splitter? Yes. Ask about the Sky Splitter. You've been observing the Sky Splitter for a while. Have you noticed anything? Honestly, just watching the ship from here isn't too thrilling. I wish I could go on board and witness Lieutenant Yen Xing's contests. <laughs> Speaking of which, Lieutenant Yen Xing, aren't you supposed to be on the Sky Splitter? Is it alright for you to be here instead? Thank you for your concern. But I have more pressing matters to attend to. <sighs> so, it seems that some Borison have returned to Stargazer Navalia in disguise. The answer seems quite obvious. Uh. Da -da -da, the, craftsman, da -da -da, the staff members from the Skyfaring Commission. That's my suspicion as well. What if Remember I just threw the I other two under the Cloud bus? Knights blocked all relevant news to make it seem as if nothing happened. Stargazer Navalia is not under lockdown. But on the contrary, those staff members use Stargazer Navalia as on lockdown as an excuse to persuade us to leave. This contradicts the Cloud Knights' plans. Their flimsy disguise has been exposed. Even if they try to hide, there's no way they can escape us. <laughs> Let's kill them. Why are you still here? As I said, Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now. No, I never issued such an order. <laughs> Who are you? Bitch. Perhaps you haven't met me on the battlefield, but I am certain you've heard my name. Now I'm asking you a question, so answer me. Tell me. Get his ass! How many more of your comrades are here? Where were you planning to meet Hule? This woman. She's the general of the Yaoqing. What are you still waiting for? Attack her! <laughs> the dice have been cast. Bust. <laughs> or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. 
I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the meal? I hit the mark. We're good on shield. Fight to win. How about letting the enemy strike first? A little more shield. I was looking ahead at how long uh, this Trailblaze uh, continuance is. I think it's 13 lesson. parts, 13 or 14 parts. So I think my plan is, that all you got? is I'll probably try to get to part six or seven today. Woohoo! That's my boy. Uh, and then I'll probably wrap it up. More season. Really felt it. Watch your head. How much time do I have? <laughs> Run! Tell Lord Bob talk about this. I was wondering why he didn't disappear from the from the combat lineup. Why don't you kill me? Because I need answers. <laughs> you were our war slave. So you should know us descendants of Duran. You want me to talk? Fine. Try whatever you want. But I assure you, you won't get anything from me. Only fangs and blood. If I were to do that, I wouldn't be any different from you. I am the arrow that pierces the wolf's heart. I grant you a swift death. That's exactly what I desire. Wolves that leave the pack are prepared for the fate of never returning home. But sadly, you didn't catch my partner. He will alert them. Before you close your eyes. You should know that I allowed him to escape. Because he will lead the Cloud Knights to Hule's hideout. Oh. <laughs> Is this how you leave one side open? You let that Borison escape so you could track him? This is the most common hunting tactic used by Borison. I know the methods of these abominations all too well. They always leave an escape route for their prey, allowing them to flee in fear. Then they chase them like it's a game. Borison get great satisfaction from the last struggles of their victims. Have you witnessed these things firsthand? That guy called you a war slave. What exactly have you experienced? Well, just a hazy past that I can barely recollect. Long ago, I was one of them. Huh? <laughs> what? But you're a Foxian, right? Not all Foxians are lucky enough to be born on a Sienjo ship. I grew up in one of the worlds where Boris and Rome, known oh. as the Fallen Territories by the people of the Yaoqing. To the Wolfmasters, Foxians are nothing but property. 
Cannon fodder used to slow down the Sienjo attacks on the battlefield. Yikes. But you survived. And not only that, you became the general of the Yao Cheng. If I get the chance, I'd love to hear stories of your past, General. Speaking of stories, you've reminded me that now is not the time for them. Mwaza, we've sent the warning from Stargazer Nabalia. What's the situation on your end? I've found them. Zhao Cho is trying to stall Hulei, and he signaled me to not reveal myself. Trust his judgment and keep watching. We'll be right there. I believe the warning we sent will stop Hulei from attacking Stargazer Navalia. <sighs> what will he do next? The hunt is not over yet. Stay safe, Zhao Cho. This is like... We are like one step away from a disaster at all times. One dual hour before the war dance convenes. Exalting Please Sanctum. Save me. <laughs> I want to live, Doctor. Oh, is he having a moment? Chow Chow, find the medical ingenium and give that kid a shot. Hurry. I. I see. How is the front line? The Boris and Beast ships have already landed on the Feng Hu. It won't be long before this place is overrun as well. Wah. What about General Yueyu? Any news from her? I'm her healer. I should stay by her side at a time like this. Thank you, Kaisona. She asked me to tell you that she's not coming back. She must protect the Cloud Pier telescope. General asks you to, to save that kid. The girl fought desperately just to bring us all back here alive. I've never seen such a brutal fighting style. Her body... It's like she was split open. Just like... Oh, her blood pressure is dropping! Do you hear me, Xiao Xiao? Loud and clear! Get me some tumble dust. We've got to start the operation right now! I... I will bring her back. Is that why you're so determined to learn my secrets? Do you hear me, Zhao Cho? I do. Loud and clear. So she saved you all in that great battle on the Xiangzhou Feng Hu three decades ago. But to your surprise, you discovered her Boris and bloodline while she was at death's door. Moktok told me that she was a war slave who escaped from the Eclipse Pack. Oh, what a twist of fate. Turns out, she's from the same clan as I am. That's fucked up. Now I understand. No wonder she displayed such astounding power, determination, and cruelty in battle. Turns out it's all because of her Boris and bloodline. Mutt. Despicable Mutt. <laughs> and she used the gift of her bloodline to destroy the Borison. <laughs> Moon Rage, a blessing for wolves. And a so she can go crazy foxes. mode. For Borison uh -oh. to have their bodies torn apart by Moon Rage and transform into a beast oh, is the ultimate joy. But for you Foxians with poor regenerative abilities, it means certain death. Oh, with the burning fury in her heart, that Foxy in general will eventually lose her sanity and indulge in endless bloodshed. The scars on her body will not be caused by enemy weapons, but by the immense power she can't withstand. One day, she will be torn apart and die as a monster. 
and in return for saving her life, you intend to give everything to solve this impossible puzzle. Hule, do you know the saddest thing about being a healer? All this time, I've devoted my life to bringing back those who sacrificed their lives to monsters like you. I exhausted myself, and my hands trembled. But I believed everything I did was meaningful. But once again, they rushed into battle. <laughs> and then I heard of their deaths. They died under your claws. In your jaws. Amidst the flames of crashing star skiffs. And under the Lux arrow of rainbow. Like a useless idiot. I saved a fish named Life out of the cauldron called Death, only to watch it struggle and dive back into the boiling broth. So I asked myself, why were they so eager to run toward their death after they had recovered from their wounds? Why wouldn't they value their hard-won life? All the doubts left me feeling lost. <laughs> I can smell your desperation. All the way down to your bone marrow. Eventually, I realized that their deaths held value. They placed the weight of their sacrifice on the living. Granting us strength. With a coin forged by their deaths, they exchanged something oh. more in return. How did you Everything know he was I'm here? I'm doing now, following <laughs> you so closely, is just for one reason witnessing your death with my own two eyes. Even your death has value. It will pave the way for a peaceful war dance. I just press the button no matter what. Cured fish out. Hmm. The thoughts in your pathetic head are hardly surprising. Did you already know this? Yes, I did. As Borison, we understand the value of death more than anyone. And as a healer who has witnessed so much death, you won't be swayed by fear. Mm, what a shame, what a shame. Your story actually sparked a trace of respect for you in my heart. Can you even feel respect? <laughs> With your corrupted heart? <laughs> of course. Because I caught a whiff of my own kind in you. Unfortunately, in the end, you're still just a weak fox. As the wolf's creed goes, gift the wolf a dead end where new paths arise. Raise him to a doomed fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise yet the valorous and brutal battles embrace their eternal prize that's a fun little that's why i'm keeping you that's alive a fun little rhyme now. i want to show you how boris and truly respect their enemies we will consume your flesh and blood nourishing our own we will crush your hopes and dreams, clearing a path for our hunt. Your feeble souls will witness a new future. 
a future that belongs to me. My lord, we received a message. Our arrangement at Stargazer Navalia has been discovered. We must act quickly. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <clears throat> Mock talk. Where are you going? What's that noise? It's the Sky Splitter. The ship that the War Dance will be held on is about to set off. The Sky Faring Commission will clear the air routes. And if our star skiffs try to escape, we'll be spotted. Calm down, Mock Talk. <laughs> Look at you now, hiding and fearful. Where is your Boris and dignity? As I said, I'd sacrifice my dignity for your return. As long as you can come back to the Boris and Pax, there's still hope. Hope? <sighs> the Boris and have forgotten the wolf's creed. Weak creatures put their hope in the strong, but the strong fight their way out. Move! Bringing me back instead of choosing a new master only proves the decline of our <laughs> pack. And as for the prophet who manipulated you into saving me, she's just a liar trying to use Doron's offspring. <sighs> Mock talk. Let me tell you. How the Burisen will rise to power. We won't hide like rats in the streets of the Xiangzhou. We will be ravenous wolves, walking amongst a herd of lambs with our fangs bared. <laughs> Deep breaths, Mock Talk. Actually, never mind. You deserve to panic. I do love, I love the dynamic of Mock Talk being like, I brought Hule back because he's powerful and I respect him and I love him, blah, 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 blah. And then Hule being like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I want more of that. But Great Warhead, our packs are not here. We can't go to war like this. Our packs are not here. Wherever I go, everyone is the pack. <laughs> Stay away. Just don't come any closer. Oh. No. Hello? Ah! Holy shit. What? <laughs> they are werewolves. Mock talk. We're the apex predators at the Or he, like, the undid their Foxian medicine. As wolves, we create fear. We don't become servants to it. If you're blind to the path, I will be the crimson moon that lights the way for you. <laughs> they are furries, yeah. Share my crimson blood with our brethren. Use it to infect those Foxians and strike fear into their hearts. Now, you devious monkey, come out and face me. No! Don't listen! No! Chow Chow. Oh. Mosa. Run. No, he can't run, and neither can you. <laughs> You've come at the right time, monkey of the Yao Ching. Tell your general. Tell her that I will unleash a massacre here, drowning the Xiang Zhou La Fu in blood. From this moment on, wolves bearing my blood will hunt on every street, feasting on the followers of that devilish archer. Follow me, my cops. We shall stride among the prey. Uh, he's the voice acting is so intense, but his mouth is barely moving. It's rise. really funny. Raise him to a doom fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise. Yet the valorous in the brutal battles embrace the eternal <laughs> Chill. 
This is not intimidating. Do you hear that? The rumble of the cannons. Oh, it brings back all the memories <laughs> of Karma. past battles within me. My return will bring back the wolf's creed. In my own way, I shall save our weakened pack and restore it to its former glory. Dude, the animation of him biting the guy in the shadow, that was so cool. to attract people to come and watch if they didn't make a huge spectacle. <laughs> March, you haven't forgotten what you came to do, have you? <laughs> um, what did I come here to do? Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> Look around you. Do you remember anything? identity of a lawful swordmaster taking the place of your no good master yenching as the ringmaster but what am i supposed to do if my opponent for this round is super talented and just wipes the floor with me in seconds i'm still a beginner in sword play i don't know where i got the confidence when i agreed to help general huayan come on there's no need to worry about that if you are defeated, then your opponent shall have to answer to me. Although, if that happens, the honor and the glory of the Sienjo Lawfu shall all be taken by the Jooming. <laughs> mm. uh, Master Yun Li, please, I'm about to compete. Can you say something that will give me a little confidence? March, think about the great storms that you, Nameless of the Express, have weathered along your many journeys. There's no doubt that you have faced what? far more terrifying enemies than your opponents here. Hi, today, Burb. Right? Don't you feel a lot more relaxed looking at it that Thanks way? Thanks for the hydrate. Uh. Why don't we call Yenching back? Why don't we call Master Yenching back? What kind of master would retire at the height of their career and leave their disciple to fight in their place? Your master has dropped out of the contest. This is a great opportunity for you to stick your neck out. Well, stick my neck out and get my head chopped off, you mean? What is all this complaining about? <laughs> you made a promise to my grandfather, and now you want to run away? <laughs> get out there, now! Master Yun Li. I don't think I'm completely ready. March? Boop. There is no such thing as completely ready. Confused spectator. So this is the sky splitter? It looked quite impressive from the ground where I was on duty, but... But now that I'm on board, it just doesn't seem as big as I imagined. It's what's-his-face. Oh... And how big did you imagine this impressive sky splitter to be? This big? This big, maybe? Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. I'd expect at least a four hour journey by Starskiff to the spectator seating from here. Otherwise, it's simply not impressive enough. Caleb Yen, is that his name? I do like his voice a lot. Um. I kind of think this place is a bit cramped, too. Well, the Sky Splitter looks small from a distance, but it's even smaller than I imagine now that I'm on board. Hear that? This person gets it. 
Either way, I thought that the sky splitter would be absolutely huge, so it's not quite how I imagined it. Are we going or not? <laughs> hello. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, hello. I have some questions I'd like to ask you. You have questions? Pretty sure that the male MC. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Are you an invited contestant? Or are you a spectator? Yeah, I unfortunately never get to hear his voice. I do love the, the, the female uh, main character. But that just means I never get to hear the male. Um, <laughs> I'm a contestant. Then may your blade be sharp and your victory glorious. Then please, continue along this passageway. You will come to a security checkpoint, and the staff there will guide you to the contestants' hall. Combat rating enthusiast. You see these glasses I have on? Yeah. These rating glasses are a special souvenir I picked up from the blue. If I just look at a contestant through them, they can give a combat power rating. Oh. Take a look at me. Take a look at me, then. What is my combat power rating? At five. <laughs> Out of... Impossible! Take a closer look. Is it scored out of five or something? Poor little March. Being bullied by a mechanical scoring system. <laughs> Don't pay them any mind. Let's go. The male MC also voices Ga Ming in Genshin. Yeah, that's actually how, that's like what I recognized his voice from. I didn't know he was also the MC in in Honkai, in, in Star Rail. That's awesome. I really like his voice. Miss Yun Li, Miss March. This way, please. It's very, um, it's very, like, cute and unique. And he has, like, good enunciation. I was informed of your arrival by Madame Yukong and came to greet you personally. The news that you will be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants' hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, Who is March 7th? <laughs> I love her shorts. Is, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? Uh... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Hello, Zeno. What? Thank you for the bits. Here, I'll turn off my... My follower rule for a little bit. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. Um. Ooh, wait, this could cause some drama. March 7th, Yen Ching's Disciple. I am a disciple of Lieutenant Yen Ching. That means that I'm also technically a grand disciple of General Jing Yuan. When you put it like that, I'm actually a pretty big deal! <laughs> huh. You completely left my name out! How rude. <laughs> <laughs> Grand I disciple, yeah. Impressive! Given the imminent danger you face. Miss Yun Li's contestant information was registered for the war dance a long time ago. However, as a last minute entry, the Skyfaring Commission has taken care of the necessary procedures for you, Miss March 7th. Please, follow this path. The contestant hall is just up ahead. Thank you, Miss Shikwe. Come, let's take a look around the contestant hall. Oh wait, treasure. Yoink. Ooh, sparkly. So, <laughs> this is the contestant hall. Oh, 
There are so many people! March, before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. My grandfather always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe from that? <laughs> that Master Yun Li has a fiery temperament. Waving around such a giant weapon, Master Yun Li favors using overwhelming force over strategy. You're not wrong. My battle style has always been simple and effective. One cut, and it's over. Observing the weapon that your opponent uses, assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at, and where their weaknesses lie, is the key to victory in battle. A shockingly heavy sword like mine, for example, is obviously not suited for a long, drawn-out battle. So, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? That's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to someone else, after all. <laughs> Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants hall to practice. If you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred. One hundred and forty-five days until March seventh. You know yourself and know the enemy. Let's see. Who should I ask first? Got a countdown. Rot around to find out how strong the other contestants are. Wait. Soldier on uh, duty. Uh, was there something you wanted to ask me? <laughs> how did I, I could just stare at him. Do you have any weaknesses? If I had to think of a weakness, um, well, whenever I open my mouth, I, uh, I make things awkward. Does that count as a weakness? Oh, I understand what's going on, Miss March 7th and Miss Yun Lee. <laughs> I'm actually not a contestant. I'm just here as a security guard. Ah, uh, so that was a little bit awkward. Oh, it's all right. I can't bear to watch other people make things awkward. So I always try to keep the conversation going. But then I'm the one who ends up making things awkward. I've gotten used to it by now. So don't worry. Oh my god. This there guy. are still many guests arriving here. Is turnip loafing? Please be cautious. Understood. Hee 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 hee. He's so cute. Um, reporter. Ugh. I am not used to wearing clothes like this at all. It's cute though. Her outfit's super you cute. You're March seventh. The stand-in for Lieutenant Yun Cheng, correct? That's right. And you are? As you can see, I am the journalist entrusted with interviewing contestants on site. I see the Skyfaring Commission has really gone all out as the host. Interesting. That's right. A big event like this just can't go ahead without a few of us running around. <laughs> Since the competition is getting started, could I ask you some questions that are on my mind? Is that the same voice actor as, um... I'm forgetting every Genshin character. Ghost Girl? Uh, I'm actually just here to learn about my opponents. Know yourself and know your enemy, right? <laughs> if you accept my interview, you'll learn all about yourself. First, the question that is on everyone's minds. Lieutenant Yencheng is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yencheng is seriously injured. Is this true? 
Oh my god, they have a microphone animation. I'm blown away. Bravo. Um you 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 yourself said that this was just gossip. Uh, my apologies. This was very unprofessional of me. I see that Lieutenant Yang Cheng has his own affairs to tend to. Then, let us look forward to seeing a valiant performance from you, Miss March. Once the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March 7th. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? The turnip emote just looks like a pair of eyes when on dark mode. I know, it's so funny looking. Uh, yeah, there are, I guess. I don't know who I'm facing. May I ask who that might be? Oh. <laughs> I could just say whatever. Master Yunli. The talented swordswoman from the Xianzhou Juming, Miss Yun Li. I look forward to a spectacular battle between you two. Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. What? Thanks for the hydrates, you know. Gouching contestant. <sighs> I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Oh. Who would have imagined that he did would take work? a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? It did. This I'm is all no sweaty. more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Ching. This last minute replacement, March 7th. Who exactly <laughs> is she? Um, she's me. Hi, I'm March 7th. That's right. I'm the March 7th that everyone's been talking about. What? You're March 7th? Don't worry. I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned cloud knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic, too, right? <laughs> the first round of the war dance that's that's my strategy. Begin. Are you feeling okay, March? Me? I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. These Contestants all seem very reliable. Looking at these contestants, I suddenly feel a lot calmer for some reason. I understand why you wanted me to know myself and know my enemy. I don't feel as nervous as I did before. So, do you want to go out and see the ring? I want to see what the ring looks like. I knew it! Let's go! <laughs> oh wait, there was a little um eating. He he he. Uh, you're even asking eating? <laughs> woof 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 woof. <laughs> well, looks like she's done with her questions. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. <laughs> Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. Cute. Oh wait, what was this? Maybe it's because she spends so much time with Teal that March 7th has the urge to interrogate the bench. What the hell's that supposed to mean? But March 7th isn't Teal, and her mental condition isn't that bad. Hmm, if there's anything you want to ask, hurry up or March 7th's rationality will come back. <laughs> what the fuck? Did any skilled competitors show up? 
The bench remained silent, having witnessed the presence of many a formidable figure, including the once-renowned sword champion of the Lafu. The bench gazes at March 7th's back, leaving behind a drop of sweat. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. <laughs> Game is so stupid. Right, I think that was everything. Talkative spectator. I heard that a swordmaster from the Shenzhou Druming is going to challenge Lieutenant Yan Ching at this war dance. Who do you think will win in the fight? Lieutenant Yan Ching, obviously. His swordsmanship is on a whole other level. I was fortunate enough to see him in person using his flying swords to capture a criminal in Starskip Haven. <clears throat> Goodness! Isn't that the Sienzhou Chu Ming's <clears throat> contestant, Miss Yun Li? Just a few swift strikes, and the Chu Ming Swordmaster will have him on his knees. Whoa, look at this guy. Who's advertising Soul Glad? Cut that out. Oh, shit, we got snacks. Oh, I want one of those. I'm so hungry. What are they saying? What are you calling it? Boop. Ooh. Big. If we walk through here, we'll be able to see the War Dance's official venue. Ooh, Ooh this music is really good. to worry <laughs> just take in the atmosphere and prepare yourself i have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship this was also part of grandpa's orders i wonder how master yan ching is doing over there hey focus How is he doing? General, report! The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskip lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. You two, follow me. What's a signal's nearby, but we lost contact just a moment ago. Ooh, I got two. That mean he will be fine. Cloud Knights, search for the target. Will the game let me go back to? I'm I'm realizing I haven't been back to the train in a really long time, and I kind of want to take a short break 
to go check and then also um go grab a snack. Hello, ma'am. You're here, little one. I saw some memory fragments drifting outside the window, and I intend to salvage them. Huh? I can't see them. Where are they? These memory fragments are as fine as dust and can't form memory bubbles. They're hard to see with the naked eye. Even most memo keepers can't sense them. There are too many discarded things in the sea of stars. Our predecessors trodden paths and forgotten pasts should have left behind vivid marks across the universe. I once felt regret for those that were lost without a trace. But fortunately, we were later able to sense, discover, and preserve them. Hmm. I wonder what stories have been left behind in the memory fragments that we found today. I love listening to stories. Settle down. Allow okay. me to manifest the memories from these fragments, and I'll share them with you. Ooh. All right, let's put on some two. Oh, what the hell? Sparkles here? Wait a second. Why are you here? Hold on. Oh god, I have so many musics to listen to. Musics? Whatever. Two visitors now. Yeah, what the fuck? What's going on here? To Naraka we sink. With the flow of mortality, this life and body shall rot and descend into hell. Hey, Sparkle, what are you doing here? <laughs> Great, you're here. Wait, how did you get in here? It's a secret, and it's a good thing I got here so fast. Otherwise, you would have missed the fireworks I prepared. Are you going to blow up the express this time? Ugh, I'm not that big of a baddie, you know. Although I've made quite a few mutually assured destruction buttons, it's not like I'm going to blow up everything I see. I don't trust that. Gray hair, don't be so nervous. I took a mutually assured destruction button and repurposed it into a sky full of sparkles button. <sighs> I really wanted to give you an epic fireworks show. I tested it so many times just to make sure. And now that I finally boarded the express, it doesn't even work. <laughs> oh well. Luckily, I brought along some sparklers, too. Let's light them up. Look, aren't they nice? <laughs> no playing with fire on the express. Disembark immediately. Wait, hold up. Where are you going? Don't leave. <laughs> All right, we got... What else? Eight great cold hells. Prison gates stand desolate. Pallid light flickers within. Pallid? Is that like pale? Pallid. Of a person's face. Pale, typically because of poor health. Settle down. Okay, chill. What else? What's Pom Pom doing? Hey, buddy. Oh, sounds. Um, I'll do that later. Moon Howl Stampede. The bone piercing wail echoes as blood drenches souls. Dust flies in fury as wolves gallop with fleetness. Let me do some housekeeping really quick here. Where? There.
That's pretty good. Life's suffering an endless tide. Wait, this song goes hard. Life's suffering an endless tide. The passage of days evaporates the remaining time of a man. And life's boundless suffering spills forth like an unending tide. I need more orbs. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, I need to do Lingsha's trial still. I've got 128 pulls saved up so far. Coming for you, Sunday. Whenever you get here, you'll be mine. All right, last song. Cloud Wide Voyage. Wearing rainbow for silk and riding wind for stallion. Yeah, this one's good. Okay, let me do her trial. Summon can automatically attack enemies. When Lingxia or her summon attacks, restores HP for the entire team. Makes enemies receive more break damage. The trial team is Himiko, Pela, and is that Harmony? Mm, spicy, stimulating. Something ominous has arrived. What does this do? Incense <laughs> ascends, entwined with ethereal clouds. Votive incense. Votive. Votive. Offered or consecrated in fulfillment of a vow. Vow. Vowative. <laughs> Incense deals minor fire damage, smoke and splendor deals minor fire damage to all enemies and at the same time restores HP for all allies. Huyun's action advances. Uh, dripping Mistscape increases break damage taken by all enemy, deals fire damage to all enemies, at the same time restores HP for all allies. Huyun's action advances. Mist Dance Manifest using skill summons Huyun. When taking damage, when taking action, launches follow-up attack and deals minor fire damage to all enemies. Additionally, deals minor fire damage to a single random enemy and prioritizes targets with both toughness greater than zero and fire weakness. Dispels one debuff from all allies and restores HP. Using using skill repeatedly will increase Fuyuan's action count. Wisps of Aurora. After using technique, immediately summons Fuyuan at the start of the next battle and increases break damage taken by all enemies. Okay. The stench of evil. Time to cleanse the filth. Wouldn't you agree? You won't get away. Ow. Oh, it comes out of her little thing. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. I didn't realize that. Dreams do come true. Her little incense bunny, yeah. This <gasps> Combat is a series of precise machinations. Come one, come all. Boom! You won't get away. You still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. 
And I'm no exception. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin! Enemy data secured. Boop. Net markers activated. Time for good old counterattack! I feel like I've completely forgotten. Like... Smart combat skills. Because, like, back when they first gave us this trailblazer, it's like every time they give us a new trailblazer path, me to the root of this they, like, hammer in tactics and stuff in combat, and it's, like, so fun to try and learn how the best way to fight the enemy is. But then as soon as it's done, I, like, forget everything. <laughs> Both body and mind. I'm so bad at retaining that information. Burns clear as if everything in this world is merely fleeting. You won't get away. I'll contain them. You won't get away. I have something for you. Wahoo! How many Trailblazer provides the team with super break damage? Which is the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like I get into I get into regular battles and I feel like I'm kind of just <laughs> like I lose all the strategy. Oh my god, it's Teal. Hi, Bo. How are you? Back to back to the mission. If there's Wait. no danger here, then I'm needed elsewhere. Hold up, is this where I'm supposed to be? Give me a second. With the bait set, the Merlin's claw true hunt begins. Having locked into Hule's whereabouts, the Cloud Knights depart for the Exalting Sanctum. However, Hule has promised assault is also set to begin. Oh, it's around the corner. Nah. I'm good. I just figured out someone made an AI model of me to chat to. What the fuck? Is this positive or negative in your in your eyes? Because on one hand, what an honor. On the other hand, get out of my way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'd, I'd be like, um. <laughs> Just talk to me. <laughs> it's Moza. Moza, no! Wait. Don't go any closer. The opening prompt is to air out grievances with. <laughs> so are you going to do a stream where you chat with your own AI model? General, I failed you. That mad dog left me here as... A declaration of war. Well, you didn't kill him. That's right. I've been holding back the urge to slit his throat all this time. Chill. Well, Lord Hule ordered us to remain here just to see. How did we get if surrounded you, this easily? The great Merlin's claw, mortal enemy of the Forsen, are able to join you right. in a little hunting game. <sighs> hunting is not a game. It is a battle of life and death. Are you ready for your death, abomination? Woohoo! Die, you lowly beast! Die! All right. Save your breath. Watch your head. <laughs> Gotta do all these follow-up attacks Better first. There pants. we go. I'm honored by your presence. Also, Bo, I just want to say I haven't said it yet, 
Because I wanted to say it vocally, but I'm happy that you are healthy and back to streaming. Since you're already here. I've been so, I was meal. so bored during the day. <laughs> Dice have been cast. Bust. Or my like five or six PM time slot was so empty. Um no, we're good. Once again, I have only one enemy. <laughs> Your number is up. With the proper elements. As you wish. They're all still just yelling their attack lines in the background. Like, shut up, he's trying to talk to us. Thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask, just spend. Haven't learned your lesson. Let the enemy strike first. Needs a little more heat. Where's Chow Cho? I think I'm I'm worried about him. I can't believe we're not even. I think we're just halfway done with this, with the Trailblaze contingents. The dice have been cast. Bust, or maybe I'll take it off. Oh wait, I was gonna go get a snack. I could set it on auto and run. <laughs> okay, we'll be, be right back. <laughs> Mozza, are you okay? I wasn't able to save Zhao Cho. Who's strong? Hule was more con- Tell me, All right, hold how on. was he planning to declare this war against me? A one-on-one -on -one duel? Or with a hostage exchange, maybe? return but <laughs> the way he says bust is killing me it's it's like every time he says it i feel the need to repeat it back it's so funny hule is planning on attacking the bustling streets of the xianzhou lawfu what did you just say impossible even if there is still undercover boris and that we haven't sniffed out hule can't have more than a few dozen people how is he planning on simultaneously attacking the streets of the Sienjo Lafu? Can he like turn other people into werewolves? He has his ace up his sleeve. Hule's body holds a plague mark passed down through generations of Borison. I've seen him convert a foxy into a Borison wolf trooper with my own eyes. This is Hule's declaration of war. His blood. It can cause Foxians to rapidly transform and lose their minds. He has passed his blood to his minions, and is planning to spread it across the law foo and stir up panic. We need to evacuate all the Foxians immediately. Contact the Skyfaring Commission and the Cloud Knights right away. Have them enforce a traffic ban and order all Foxians to remain indoors until further notice. The moment you see your enemy's declaration of war, it means that they have already begun to take action. But... If Hule succeeds in getting this panic to spread. Do you remember what I told you before? 
Hunting is about thinking the same way as your prey, not just mindlessly chasing after them. What Hule wants is to see everyone on the Lawfu descend into panic. He wants to see us lose our minds and waste our limited manpower scouring every inch of the Lawfu for signs of an attack until we exhaust ourselves. It's like that party game that the people of the Yaoqing love to play. They hide an object under one of several <laughs> bowls, then move the bowls around and have you guess which one the object is underneath. It's kind of a weird comparison, but okay. This is all nothing more than misdirection. It's just like that one party game. <sighs> no matter what Hule does, there is one truth that cannot be changed. He is trapped aboard the Sienjo Lothfu. The only way for him to escape is to find a ship. And the only ship he's able to see is... Right now, the only ship he'd be able to see is the Sky Splitter. In Why? Because it's just in. Because it's up. Countless hostages. That would be the best place for him to go. So, that will also be our final. There are other ships. Why can't he see them? If we're wrong about this, if he goes somewhere else, or if he does as he said he would, and his minions infect the Foxians everywhere with wolf blood, what do we do then? Are we just supposed to abandon those less likely locations? This is another lesson that you must learn outside of swordplay. Weighing your options and making a decision. There are always questions that we will ask ourselves. God, she's but so never cute. Be able to answer. Before making a decision, we must destroy any hesitation that we are holding on. To. I want her jacket. Once we make a decision, we must fight off any regrets. Like the How do I make this go away? The the blue lining that you can see in her collar is so cute. There is a chance that we will make the wrong decision and allow our allies to be sacrificed in vain. There is a chance that we will predict our enemy's movements correctly, yet underestimate their strength and be overwhelmed in battle. But being lost in hesitation and failing to take any action will always be more harmful than taking the wrong path. Your chibi model is so cute, thank you. <laughs> no matter what. I've Everyone, been having a lot of fun with listen it. Up. I will personally take charge of Starskiff Haven, evacuate the people, and prepare for any possible attacks. I will do my best to ensure that things are safe on the ground. Nameless, please lend us your strength as you did when the Ambrosial Arbor was reborn. I need you and Wildza to go in search of Zhao Cho. Leave it to me. General, please entrust me with the safety of the Sky Splitter. I was originally meant to participate in the tournament, so now it is only right that I return to the Sky Splitter. I wish I had a jacket like that for when I'm riding my motorcycle. Yeah. And it has like, it has, it's such a long coat too. It's so motorcycle jacket. Hule does come to attack the Sky Splitter. I want to see like modern Lieutenant Yan Ching. I need you to hold motorcycle him there gang art able to arrive of these guys. Please rest assured, General. If he dares step foot on the Sky Splitter, I Yan Ching swear on the blade in my hands that he shall not escape. As the Cloud Knights set off to various locations, they swiftly okay. I didn't need to read that. Cloud Knights. <laughs> the Borson have arrogantly decided to. As the Cloud Knights set off to various locations, they swiftly began to cordon off areas and start inspections. At that time, the Cloud Knights are waiting information in the Exalting Sanctum. Challenge us on Sienjo territory. They vow that they will unleash a bloodbath along the streets of the Sienjo. The unarmed civilians of the Sienjo and countless visitors from afar are under our protection. Let me ask you, as Cloud Knights, will we allow the Borson to succeed with their plan? No. Be on your guard. Calling Starskip Haven. Have all Cloud Knights be on full alert for Borson attacks. Seisham, the ports of Starskip Haven are crawling with wolf-like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back. 
I will turn, turn this immediately. Get back. Can you move? Oh shit. Oh, they're so cool. What was that noise? Was it turnip? Was it this? Was it a little bell? After Fei Xiao uses her technique, she grants herself a movement speed boost and will pull enemies along her as she travels. The more enemies are pulled, the higher the damage upon entering battle. I thought I heard an ooh-woo, but maybe it was something on Twitter. Um, I don't think it was me. I think that was your, I think you're outing your own Twitter feed here. There you are, Faisal. Madam Yukong. After 30 years, we find ourselves fighting side by side. That couldn't side. possibly have been me. It's been a while since I've let loose. <laughs> Let's get this started. Remember, you are All still right. on the ball floor. Try not to go too wild. Let's see. Holy shit, wait, that was really cool. I'll give you five seconds. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the dark? Oh, you almost got him. Oh, yes! Face technique is so strong. It was really cool. Wait, what the fuck? She one hit all three of them. What? Respite, then time for the next fight. That was crazy. Excuse me? Let's see. <laughs> Wait, this is hilarious. How long does it last? Ah! <laughs> no way. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? How many of them can I pick up? <laughs> that is not. This is so unserious. Are you for real? No, come back. I need to do that again. Let's see. <laughs> why, why are they letting me do this? All together. What the hell? Short respite, then time for the next fight. <laughs> that was insane. That was completely insane. What? Why can she do that? Why is that allowed? What the fuck? That was crazy. Do you know the video of the guy that gaslights his girlfriend into thinking beavers are playing curling? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? We have cleared out the enemies in Starskip Haven. <laughs> but it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskip. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. Pernip has such beautiful blue eyes. It's so funny. Like, he but doesn't. But, now is the time to bring this to a swift but when he sits here, I think the, um, <laughs> the, the, like, light of the computer will reflect off of his eyes, and it makes them seem super blue. But his eyes are actually, like, a green. Like, they're, like, a, a yellowy green. But the computer monitor makes him look so pretty. <laughs> Con
Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Imagine using her for Divergent Madame, Universe. Lend me your bow. <gasps> Oh shit, what the hell? Oh my god! Woo! No! Her anime sickness. At the same time in the arm alley. It gave me no time to read that one. Oh, what a mess. I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. <laughs> she didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. Is Zhao Cho still alive? He has to be. Oh. A retainer like myself is nothing more than an insignificant shadow who stands by the general's side. But Zhao Cho is different. Without his careful treatment, the general wouldn't even be here today. Hopefully, he can use that silver tongue of his to buy himself enough time. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. I refuse to elaborate, but after um, playing what I played today, I gotta get on AO3. <laughs> There's some shit waiting for me on there, I just know it. What a terrifying attack. He's still oh, alive? That such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave. So decisive. So brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. Surprise! The fact that you still draw breath after an attack like that? I remember you, Mock Talk. You are harder to kill than a cockroach. But the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? Where's our boy? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Qing monkey. There is one principle that we be snow well. Turnip's just like staring at the wall. We might have to break off an arm <laughs> to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind We eyes. get it, you're obsessed with him. Like the moon of Verdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the wolf's creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. 
Ah. Oh. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats. Cannibalism? Living a dirty and pathetic life. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. Can I fight this guy, please? The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack. And they should die for it as well. Come, the Ao Ching man. Show me your fangs. We will fight to the death. Okay. <laughs> How honorable, <laughs> you mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. The war is it boils in my veins. Jesus. Horus and resurgence? Pillage and murder freely as you did a thousand years before. Xiao Ching will ensure that this is nothing more than your dying fantasy. <laughs> Don't ask. I wonder what, because I'm assuming Moza is yeah, gonna be playable. Life. I'm excited to see what he's gonna be like. Be silent. <laughs> Better to make no move than wait for your move. Hmm. Let's add more season. Moza is playable? Wait, is he already? Watch your head. Have I haven't seen anything of him? Come on, I can do this. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> I didn't even know he was a playable character already. Presence. That's so funny. Since you're all How did I miss here. that? I guess it's Why fairly recent. And I I do tend to avoid, I kind of try to avoid like spoilers for stuff, but I tend to miss the a lot of like news about the game. Shrimp dressing. Bust. He has a neat or play style. Maybe I'll take it off. Do you guys know if there's a point in the like trailblaze continuance where they'll make me play as him? Looks like I've got a winning hand. <laughs> Fight me! Things straight like this will send me running! Yay! That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Ow! Uh, chill! <laughs> Tricks, all right. Watch your head. I don't remember, but I don't think so. Okay. As you wish. I must. It's a little more. <laughs> That's just a tween on massage. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> you talking about massages? Ooh, Arlen is at a nice 69 HP. No dirty tricks, alright. Watch your head. The dice have been cast. Bust. Bust. Or... Maybe I'll take it off. All in. How much time do I have? Not again. I'm running away. Sorry. Can't lose this one. Boom! Oh, he's gonna. 
He's it's gonna overkill the hell out of Let this me guy. Pay you back. Resurgence shall go. No matter how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. It seems that Mock Talk. What the fuck? Wished for. They can do that? Kule, your declaration of war. Is over. From now on, his eyes no are so cute. You They're you like run, cotton candy. General Face Shao will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general. Speak with me. Our little hunting game is not over yet. Stand down, Mansa. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you. From both my men and your healer. This dude's design is so like it's fine. But it's it's sort of like it reminds me of the underwhelming feeling when I finally got to see what green looks like from neon white. Where like I don't know, it's like all oh, revealed, big strong, scary man. And I and then I was like, yeah, okay, I guess I don't know what I expected. Yeah. Fairly, just kind of neutral. He's okay. I feel like he could look a little cooler, but... Like, he looks way cooler as a werewolf, I'm just saying. To allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of you? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to keep their lips sealed? Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. Hule, are you begging me for mercy? I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins. But also, the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift from the- His real form is so good, undercover fox uniform just can't measure up. Yeah, it's like so good, he looks so cool, as a big bad. The Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. <laughs> now he's just a guy. Yeah. In sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiang Chou is. Then I will pilot this ship every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin my journey home. This ship shall be the flagship for the Borison resurgence. Okay. Chill. Before I finish His volume is so low. <laughs> I can't you hear you, dude. Stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. God, 
God, there's so many POVs. The war dance is about to commence. This seems like, if it'll let me, this seems like a good time to pause. I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with we'll see how much they yap. Of the sky splitter. That's easy for my grandfather to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. The first round of the tournament is about to begin. I wonder how Yen Ching and the others are doing. According to the plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Maybe I should take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. Yeah, okay. Is the now is a good right time now. to take a break. Okay. And by take a break, I mean end stream. Oh, her little idol animation. Girl, you still, I think you still gotta put some shoes on. Okay. So, we've got a couple people streaming right now. If anyone is interested, Dreamy and Sleepy are currently doing a Pokemon Silver Soul Link. Uh, and that's going on over here. However, I think I'm going to attempt to raid Captain. Um, our friend Galaxy Captain is currently playing Fields of Mystria. <laughs> Thank you, Augustine. Um, they're- Oh, they're- they don't do raids?! Okay, maybe we will raid. <laughs> maybe we will raid Sleepy. Damn it! <laughs> That's fine. Well, how many? There's like a limit to how many people I can shout out, right? In a certain amount of time. They probably won't let me shout them out. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Well, you guys should follow my friend Galaxy Captain as soon as I shout them out again. Um, and then we will raid Sleepy. I gave them a bit of a... a bit of a warning with my shout out. They might know we're coming. Uh, and then tomorrow is a new week, right? Is it Sunday today? Yeah. Um, I might do Yuppie Psycho, like, more than once this week. I don't know if I'm going to do a full, like, Monday through Friday Yuppie Psycho streams. Because um, I still kind of want to stay consistent with, like, my Japanese and, like, the piano. Uh... But uh, I might do like three Yuppie Psycho streams. I don't know, cause I kind of want to finish it, and it's and it's spooky month. Might as well. All right. Um, go check out my friend Galaxy Captain. They're playing a cute farm game right now, and we will raid Sleepy. Uh, and again, they're playing like a Pokemon Soul Link with Dreamy. Um, Dreamy, who it was just her birthday recently. Um, they were doing like a birthday thing and now they're gonna do like a, uh, I think they're doing a full week of streaming together. So that should be cute. All right, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.